So today, another VWAP open. Um, ended up taking a couple trades. Neither one really saw the light of day, uh, which was an early sign for me to walk out. Uh, typically, if I see, you know, take one, two trades, well, really like two to three trades, and neither one of them see, you know, any form of green, it's typically a sign that I'm not seeing the market pretty clean. So uh, took that as a sign today to take a step away. Uh, we're going to go and recap those trades from the live stream this morning. Uh, thankfully, kept them cheap and, uh, you know, walking away with a paper cut. So move on. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into today's recap. Yo, good morning. Happy Thursday. Welcome. News on the session. We had uh, PPI come out at 730 this morning. Uh, crude oil inventory is at 10. I feel like that's normally at 930 now. Weird. Uh, crude oil inventory is at 10. That's basically it. We got Kugler. Kugler. That's a terrible last name. Uh, he's talking at nine. Well, chat, uh, fun stuff because guess what? Well, guess what? We're 10 points away from VWAP. Another VWAP open destined in the books. Uh, exciting stuff there, obviously. Another VWAP open. Uh, we are still consolidating the top of the range here. Um, we failed to sweep lows, obviously, yesterday at uh, 60 or so. Maybe we'll go press 260. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we haven't gone up there yet, and we've gone up there every other day. Right around 1240 or so. So maybe we got 90 points of upside in us, 110 points of upside, excuse me. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but a VWAP open uh, typically means chop, and that has played out very well the last couple days. Every day that's been a VWAP open has been very choppy for a while. So. Anticipating more or less the same. Um, we are opening up inside yesterday's valley area low, just barely. I mean, it's VWAP. We got yesterday's close at 160. Overnight highs at 190. Valley area high from yesterday at 230, 240, which is exactly that area I was talking about on the daily chart as well. It lines up really nicely. So maybe if we can hold yesterday's valley area low, get above VWAP, 190 really, you know, that push into uh, the 230, 240 range looks pretty nice. But we'll see markets are opening here in eight seconds that's kind of the daily plan the ranges i'm looking at uh for interest if we snap what value area low cleanse what uh cleanse 90. maybe we go retest 60. snap 60 it could get nasty but don't really have high hopes for that personally but we will be nimble we'll be smart we'll be patient we will execute uh to the best of our abilities obviously and uh keep fighting I'm just waiting to see if we flip point of control here or not. We got a little double top at 172. I'd imagine that flushes up to 180. Going to yesterday's point of control, putting some volume there on the day, and then go back to VWAP. That would be would make too much sense. All right, and we got volume up here now as well. At 170. I got eight, seven minutes long green lighted to trade, but I would not be shocked to see us return back to VWAP after putting in volume up here at 170. There it is. Shocking. Shocking. Who would have thought that we would have a VWAP open, put volume in at the high of day, and return back to VWAP? That point of control flip actually is super juicy, huh? Not bad. Not bad at all. We're getting movement, chat. This is good. This is shockingly good. VWAP is like 50 points higher. We'll see how this candle closes in the next minute. Closes doji. You know, retest looking 50% or something could be kind of interesting. Like retest like 72s or something. Well, nice push off of the doji. No retrace at all. Sick. There's that untested wick technically. I mean, 116, 120 is also kind of interesting. Got a little bit of buyers here though. I don't really know if I want to step in front of it. I just don't know what... I don't know what type of day we're going to have yet. It's still, we're 20 minutes in. This could be the range, right? Or we could roll over here. And I don't really know what, <clears throat> what makes a lot of sense. We got buyers pushing. I just, I can't, I can't short this even at these areas. I can't short it. So see what happens. 120 is a nice move. It's 60 points off the lows. 
tell you what if we get down to like 90s i'd be kind of interested in potentially taking a long assuming everything is looking all right it'd be a very similar trade uh what was it yesterday they all kind of blend together but very similar concept run it up pull it back run it close it, close it strong all right here's that area do i like it i'm gonna take a little stab short here Ah, uh, fully filled out. This is a nice slap. I I kind of like it still, to be honest. I'm tempted to hold on to it. I took a 10-point loser there. Um, We'll see how we close, or where we get at in the next, like, 30 seconds here. I mean, this is a nasty candle. 120 rejection is nasty. A lot of times, what I was really looking for there is, like, basically, we don't really flip it red. And we just boost it back up but nice slap we just don't really have that many sellers which is why i was thinking about potentially getting back in the stop saved me an extra uh 10 points or so be back to break even right now but i would have had to take 20 points of drawdown i wouldn't want to do that it's doing what i wanted it to do i just was a little too early i guess i thought getting in around the candle flip would have been fine no, it ended up being about 50% of that retrace that we had talked about. The low 70s, 50% of that doji would have been a better entry. That's okay. On to the next. I mean, we're really just going to hold 75, 76 like this. I mean, like, that's a decent, honestly, a decent looking trade if you get filled. I mean, it's played four or five times now, so. GG's if you grabbed it. And it pushes. Nice candle. We're going to have the 80 to 20 rotation here, huh? It's lit. It's, I haven't checked in a while. I kind of forgot about getting lit. It is lit. GG's chat. All right, Thursday, November 14th. Here we go. You ready? What do you call a Ford Fiesta that ran out of fuel? What do you call a Ford Fiesta that ran out of fuel? The Ford Siesta. <laughs> yeah, a lot of wicks. I agree. It is an interesting spot. Like, I'm tempted to still take the bottom of the range, but of course, I'm going to take it and it's going to flush it. That's just how trading works. I mean, it's hard for me to not take that, to be honest. It's just a cheap trade. Off of the doji on the five. It ends up getting filled out. Five points. Very hard for me to not take a true, true doji off a of pullback like that. Good stop out. End up sweeping it all. Down in a 150, maybe. Hello, yoinks. Well, saved myself uh, a lot pretty instantly. <laughs> Almost 40 points. <laughs> Golly. Cleaned all the wicks up.